here to have fun. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day in Canada. What date is it? May the 9th? 10th? May the 9th, 2021. And here we are in uh, more than a year of lockdown in Canada. And there's no getting better. We started this video already and uh, we're doing it again because I forgot to push play. So we're going back to the beginning of our set list. And uh, for you ladies who have been with us before, we're in the orange book with the printouts. The rest of you can look this up. Um, I will put a playlist of hymns in your description box down below the video so that you'll be able to find and sing along if you like. And I've put all the settings down a little lower so the sopranos don't have to reach so high. <laughs> We're going to start with The Shelter in the Time of Storm by Ira Day, David Sankey and uh, Vernon J. Charlesworth. And this is in from the 1800s, this hymn. The Lord's our rock, in Him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm, secure was. was a child hearing the story about Jesus saying to the wind and the rain and the storm on this on the Sea of Galilee peace be still and he is the Prince of Peace and so even though the storm is going on around us we can still have his peace because Christ is our peace okay so we want to go into uh, what a friend we have in Jesus and there's going to be a key change in the last verse Hey! 
song. Uh, I sing that in my heart often. Often it goes through my heart if it doesn't come out my mouth. Sometimes things can get so hard you can't sing because your throat's all choked up. But the Lord can bring that song back to you. So if you're in a spot today and it's Mother's Day and you're not feeling very happy about things, trust Jesus. Go to him. How about we go back a couple of pages and do trust and obey? As I've said to my friends many times before, this is a hymn that my grandma taught us. Mm. And I'm pretty sure it's because we were cranky, obnoxious children at some time who were kind of whiny. <laughs> and so um, yeah, we kind of needed to learn this one. Uh -huh. That's a little high. So this is a good key. Uh, I know it's not the best for uh, sopranos, but too bad. When we walk.
What he says we will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to When we stopped singing these hymns, we really robbed ourselves and a lot of people of the truths therein. Because faith, as we're learning in our study of Romans, involves obedience. And uh, we're not obeying what people tell us to do, but what God has clearly written for us. And that's not subject to human interpretation in a way because we believe what he says from the beginning to the end and that he doesn't negate himself. God is not the author of confusion, as the scripture says, um, but he delights in making his way known. And so we trust what he says is true and we do it as if it is. Let's go to uh, the B section. Blessed Assurance. I love this tune because it's in 90 time. John 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and that passage goes on to say for God did not send his son in the world into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him mm -hmm. 
So there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's what it says in, I think that's Roman. I don't know where that is. Maybe it's, ah, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box. And by the way, I'll put the, uh, the links to these hymns because I find most of them in the cyber hymnal or in the, what is it called, hymnary.org. And I'm trying to use today the ones that are without copyright so that you can, so I won't get any YouTube strikes. And it, excuse me, pardon me. If you like what we're doing, please like, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because you never know what we're going to be getting up to next. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next page. I'm going to have a little sip. Haven't finished all my coffee yet. And the next page is Blessed Be the Name by William H. Clark. Um, and uh, Ralph E. Hudson wrote the tune. This is also in the public domain. I'm going to put it in a different key because maybe you don't like singing high. Maybe down a little bit lower than that, maybe here. Okay, let's try that. All praise to Him who reigns above in majesty supreme, who gave His Son for men to die, that He might men redeem. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, His name above all names shall stand, exalted more and more. At God the Father's own right hand, where angel hosts adore. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Pause for a minute. We'll be right back for we're going to have a little station break. Okay, we finished our station break and we've had a little adventure. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was thinking about this. Uh, I've said this to my friends before. <clears throat> we recently finished up a, a Bible study called Lord, I Want to Know You, and it was by Precept Ministries written by Kay Arthur, which got us to study the names of God. And uh, if you people watching this in YouTube want to see what we learned, uh, you are very most welcome to find that playlist under this, uh, uh, under, yeah, it's on my channel. So we recorded our sessions, our discussion sessions, and all the information on how you could study along are there in the description boxes. So I really welcome that because when I was, uh, younger i always wondered i mean i've wondered this for a long time until i got the answer <laughs> now i've got the answer but i always wondered what does it mean when it says we praise your name what does it mean 
and uh, who are you and what what what's your name <laughs> and so when we studied the names of God we learned that he is Elohim our creator who is there in the beginning we learned that that is a a singular noun with a plural ending for one God which indicates that the spirit was hovering over the waters but that Jesus the Son of God was present at creation Jesus is our creator he's our friend he came to earth in human form to sacrifice himself to uh, pay the penalty for sin against a holy God who created us <clears throat> and who cannot abide sin so that we can have relationship with him that's a marvelous thing mm -hmm. in all other religions uh, God does not want to have relationship with us they are aloof and far away but Jesus is the friend of all sinners and he came and he rose again oh this one is probably copyright so we can't do that one I'm, I'm just flipping through here to see what we can do oh let let's go uh, to this uh, song um, this hanky song Catherine Hanky wrote this uh, I love to tell the story because I do That's a good key. Yep. I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story of unseen things above. Of Jesus and his glory. Of Jesus and his love. I love
Christmas lights are going off as we sing. <laughs> the battery hasn't run out since Christmas time because there hasn't been enough music in this room. <laughs> but we're making it happen today. You know, this song, I love to tell the story. For some reason, it brought to mind my great grandfather that I never met. My great grandfather, Finch, <clears throat> who is the father <laughs> of my grandmother. Doris Florence Amelia Finch McGill. And uh, her father, I, I think was a farmer, but I'm not sure. But uh, I know for sure he was an evangelist in his time during the Depression. And um, uh, my mother said, told to me one time that sometimes people were a little upset with him because he spent money on tracts to tell people about Jesus instead of buying food. And all I can say is if that's what God has put in your heart, you got to do what God's got to do and trust in his provision because God's name is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. And he is also El Shaddai, the one who pours forth. And so <clears throat> trust and obey. That's what my great grandfather did. Uh, oh, do you know Jesus loves even me? <clears throat> I gotta have another sip too. <clears throat> it starts under J, so it's in our orange books. It's in the public domain, and uh, the copy I'm reading is courtesy of Cyber Hymnal. I gotta put it down because uh, in G. This one is in six A. Uh, it's after there is a land that is fairer than day, which says, uh, I don't know why it's in there. There it is. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves even me. Though I forget him and wander away, still he doth love me wherever I stray. Back to his dear loving arms would I flee when I remember that Jesus Jesus, I know very well. 
God's Holy Spirit with mind doth agree, constantly witnessing Jesus loves me. So I'm going to call it a time right now, and we're glad that anybody who's been watching it, um, has joined in, and I hope that you are thankful today that Jesus loves you, and he is always willing and able to forgive anyone of anything. As long as you're breathing, there is hope for your future, and there's hope in the now. Just hold on. Hold on. Have a great Mother's Day, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.